To God be the glory, I'm O.W. Prince, and this is your real illuminating moment. Hello, my dear friends. I am very happy and grateful to be with you today, and I pray that God's blessings are shining upon you, being poured out upon you more than you can stand to overwhelming to overflowing where you might be able to share with another to god be the glory give god the praise uh, what's important to you who is important to you whatever it is that you are most invested in will be what guides your life the most whoever you are most invested in will be the one you feel the loss of the most. Whoever you are most in love with will be the one whom you obey the most, whom you seek to please and satisfy the most. Isn't it interesting how our passions, our burning desires, and our inexplicable yearnings drive us? Isn't it interesting that nothing satisfies quite like what we crave? Hmm. I can't speak for you. But as for me, nothing of this earth, nothing of the Christian church, nothing of this world's religions, philosophies, theologies, nations, or governments, nothing of fame, fortune, glamour, glitter, or gold, nothing and no one can satisfy my love, passion, and desire except the voice of God welcoming me into his kingdom. If I can only hear heaven's welcoming voice, sing unto me, well done, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with a few things. So I will now put you in charge of many. Enter into the joy of your master. Then and only then would it be worth it all. Then my living would have not been in vain. To God be the glory. My sufferings and pains, crying and shame, abuse, misuse would not matter at all. It will all be over. Thank you, God, because of who you are. I can make it by your power I can keep looking up to God be the glory I'm O.W. Prince and this has been your real illuminating moment and as always in part many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers him out of them all life hurts but God heals keep looking up